So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound Lock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab, but you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high punch. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read John, my last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take it down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot and got defended as you would expect it to. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Up? Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent in distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but maybe to the surprise of his opponent, he has come out so aggressive here tonight, he has landed a ton of strikes here early and gotten off to a nice start. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Wild attempt with the right hand there. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, nice strike landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. I'm trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Trying to kick the leg out. Final seconds here of round one. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp, and not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Beautiful punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Another big leg kick lands. Already right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination, he's good. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh! He got the turn on. Oh. Outstanding output on both sides. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots to the top. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He's got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, collar tie. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Leg kick. Whiffs on the right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Throwing that jab, no good. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Oh, 
combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Choi. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's doing his jab. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he secured his takedown. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Lands the right hand. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Punch over the top. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice hook, Lance. Jab hurt him a little bit. Big leg kick, land. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. An uppercut, land. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And just misses with that big right hand. Take down Lance. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Pretty good right hand. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice straight punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Big head kick lands. Missed with that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful take out of kick lands. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Scramble and go! Scramble and Under two minutes to go. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Got a single collar tie. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. <laughs> oh, oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, 
just missed on the overhand right. Now on a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch, take him for a oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique, what a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. Right, that's right. <laughs> Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Right hand on point. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's it's great the same right story. Just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Choi. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. And every now and again, he was set down with a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Beautiful strike. Blocks the shot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, close guard now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pass to this guy. This guy's trying to land, he's trying to land effective strikes. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you them. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Punch coming, it's blocked. Just missed on the uppercut. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Tags him with a flush left. What a beautiful thing. Oh, there's the single. Just over three minutes to go. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Choi. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. So inside the open guard of his opponent, got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Choice has got full mount now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 
All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. I mean, how many can he take? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Checks the leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Great punch. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, rips the body shot there. Big kick. Throws the left hand. Oh, misses with the jab. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. Got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during trip. They both have reputation. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. A couple of hammer fists now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Back to the feet. Nice punch here. Look at him driving. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. You know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Back to his feet. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Doubling up on the jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Wow. Double jab yet again. We talk about the jab in and of itself as a lost art in mixed martial arts, but doubling up on it. Beautiful. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch land. Ooh. Look at him working at trying to shut the lid. Oh! He's out! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot 